Just one quick idea today. Sometimes in life, you just need parallel arrays. Suppose I want to keep a list of people's names and their ages. I can achieve this by using two separate arrays in which corresponding elements are related. So as an example, suppose I have Anuja, Iqbal, Aisha, Nikhil, Anil, and I have their ages 20, 21, 19, 24, 20. Even though these are two separate data structures, I can tell, oh, Anuja is 20 years old, Iqbal is 21 years old, because they share indices. There are tons of other uses for parallel arrays, but let's just keep going with this example. Uh, so suppose I want to search, uh, given a particular name, I want to get the corresponding age. Well, I can set that equal to search name, and I can just loop through the whole array, checking each name to see if it's equivalent to the name I'm searching for. When I find it, I know I can easily grab the corresponding age and then display it or display that I didn't find it at the end. Easy enough. Before we close up shop, a couple of ways for you to check to make sure you are on board and you understand the content of this very brief lecture. Uh, make sure you can explain what parallel arrays are. Make sure you can declare two parallel arrays. Uh, I suggest trying, let's say, grade thresholds and letter grades. That would be probably an int and a string or an int and a care. Uh, you want to uh, make sure you can iterate through a set of parallel arrays and print you know, the corresponding elements together. And uh, finally, just take a look at, at instantiating parallel arrays for these different data types uh, for names, age, and social security numbers. Pay particular attention to the data types you choose. That's it for today.